hello students how are you all i hope everybody must be enjoying good health so let us complete this chapter that is heredity and evolution today we'll be talking about the last topic of this chapter that is evolution by stages now pehle lecture mein maine tumhe bataya ki jo evolution hai it is a very very slow process and during the evolution complex body design or the complex body that emerges from the simple body that means simple body it turns into the complex body during the evolution okay that means the older jo organisms hain they are have the very simple body whereas जो न्यूली इवॉल्व ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैं देयर बॉडी का डिज़ाइन जो है वो काफ़ी कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है ना इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि एवोल्यूशन हुआ तो जो पुरानी स्पीशीज से दे गॉट एलिमिनेटेड इट इज़ नॉट लाइक दैट ड्यूरिंग एवोल्यूशन जो पुरानी स्पीशीज थी दे ऑल्सो सर्वाइव्ड एंड द न्यू स्पीशीज ऑल्सो आर ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड सो वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ स्पीशीज कैप कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग सो एंड द एवोल्यूशन इज नॉट एब्रप्ट इट टेक्स मिलियंस एंड बिलियंस एंड ट्रिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स टू अकर सो एवोल्यूशन अकर बाय द स्टेजिज द टू पॉपुलर अडेप्टेशंस विच इंडिकेट्स अस दैट द एवोल्यूशन हैज टेकन प्लेस इज द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ आई दिस इज आई एज यू नो काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन है एंड आई इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गन ऑल्सो नाउ लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट आइज जो है प्लेनेरिया जो है प्लेनेरिया जो है ये बड़ा सिंपल ऑर्गेनिज्म है बिकॉज दिस प्लेनेरिया इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अ फ्लैट वॉम इट बिलोंग्स टू फाइलम प्लेटी हेलमेंथीज ओके जो प्लेनेरिया में आइज जो हैं दैट इज वेरी सिंपल दैट मीन्स एक जस्ट आई स्पॉट है and this eye spot can detect the light and because this eye spot can detect the light it gives the survival advantage to the organism and the complex eyes are seen in insects in other invertebrates as well as in vertebrates like these complex eyes they are seen in human beings also okay uh, how these complex eyes which are seen in vertebrates or in certain invertebrates they have developed now these eyes complex eye structure they have developed from the simple eye structure in a stages that means some change has occurred in the dna and there is some change again many changes keep on occurring as the time passes and these changes kept on accumulating okay and that is how the complex eye structure which is seen in the higher organism has been created in stages not abruptly in stages which may have taken trillions of years to be created okay so another good example which is seen that the evolution has taken place and the evolution is a very gradual state uh, gradual stages evolution has taken in gradual stages ek example hai dinosaurs ka now tumhe malum hai ki ye jo dinosaurs hain they are the reptiles and in reptiles mein the feathers are present but these feathers which are present in the dinosaurs ye flying ke liye use nahi karte dinosaurs बहुत कम डायनोसोर्स थे जो कि फ्लाई कर सकते थे एंड वो भी एकदम थोड़े से डिस्टेंस पे एंड डायनोसोर्स में जो ये फैदर से एक्चुअली दे वर यूज एज एन इंसुलेटर्स ओके सो दैट इनकी जो बॉडी थी वो वॉर्म रहे बिकॉज दीज डायनोसोर्स जो थे दे वर प्रेजेंट द द फैदर्स वर प्रेजेंट ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ द डायनोसोर्स विच वर लिविंग इन अ वेरी कोल्ड एनवायरमेंट लेटर ऑन ये जो फैदर्स थे दे वर मेड यूजफुल बाय द बर्ड्स फॉर फ्लाइट 
So we can say that this development of feathers in the bird suggest that birds जो हैं they must have evolved from the reptiles or we can say that the reptiles and the birds they are closely related because यहाँ पे एक change जो है वो useful है एक organism के लिए for one property and दूसरे organism के लिए वो दूसरा functions जो है वो करती है like in dinosaurs it the the feathers they act as an insulator जबकि birds में they changed into wings and were used for the flying like इसमें ये जो है it is these are just the fossils ये तीनों के तीनों जो है ये fossils हैं ये simple small dinosaurs का fossil है this is an imprint of the small dinosaurs ये जो है these are the feather imprints okay and these feathers जो हैं they are preserved along the forearm of the dinosaurs so this ये dinosaurs की ये forearms हैं like I told you last time कि forearms जो हैं that consists of humerus radius ulna carpus metacarpus phalanges so ये पूरे जो forearms हैं they were covered with the feathers and this is a fossil of a head of a dinosaur in which the feathers are there so that means this these feathers they give a tells us that these feathers were used by the dinosaurs for not for flying but for the insulation now the various organisms we can say jitne bhi organism hai they are involved from the common ancestors hamare ancestors jo hai wo common hai another example we can say that various dissimilar looking structures they evolved from the common ancestor the example is the cabbage okay but ye dekhna ki wild variety of variety of cabbage jo hai the farmer were cultivating this wild variety of cabbage around 2000 years ago and this wild cabbage say the different varieties of vegetables that are formed by the farmers by artificial selection remember yahan pe jo artificial selection le rahe hain but in nature it is the natural selection because jo previous environmental condition hai conditions hai those cannot be created now so the wild variety of cabbage which the farmers were growing around 2000 years ago these white variety wild variety say many different varieties jo hain वो दे आर डेवलप्ड बाय द फार्मर्स कौन कौन सी डिफरेंट वैरायटीज हैं फर्स्ट इज कि अगर ये कैबेज की वाइल्ड वैरायटी में फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट को अरेस्ट कर दिया जाए अरेस्ट मतलब फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट ना होने दी जाए बाय आर्टिफिशियली आर्टिफिशियली बाय स्प्रेइंग सर्टेन हार्मोन्स अगर हम वाइल्ड कैबेज में कुछ हारमोन्स स्प्रे करते हैं जिसकी वजह से वहाँ पर फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट नहीं होती तो एक दूसरी वैरायटी बन जाएगी दैट इज़ नॉन एज ए ब्रोकली जो आजकल हम ब्रोकली खाते हैं विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर नाउ इट इज बिकॉज इट इज़ वेरी न्यूट्रिशियस सो इट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस सिमिलरली अगर ये वाइल्ड कैबेज में द फ्लावर्स जो हैं दे वर मेड स्टराइल बाय बाय आर्टिफिशली बाय स्प्रेइंग सर्टन केमिकल्स और बाय स्प्रेइंग सर्टन हारमोन्स अगर फ्लावर्स जो हैं वो स्टराइल बना दिए जाएँ तो देन देर इज़ ए डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉलीफ्लावर कॉलीफ्लावर जो हम ये वेजिटेबल खाते हैं ओके okay? उसमें जो फ्लावर्स जो हैं दे आर स्टराइल फ्लावर्स सिमिलरली अगर ये वाइल्ड कैबेज में का जो वाइल्ड कैबेज का नीचे का पोर्शन होता है विच इज़ सॉलिड पोर्शन सोलन एंड द सॉलिड पोर्शन दैट इज सिलेक्टेड ओके देन देर इज़ ए डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अनदर टाइप वराइटी ऑफ ए वेजिटेबल विच इज़ नोन एज ए कोलाराबी एंड अगर वाइल्ड कैबेज की जो लीव्स हैं दे आर मेड टू डेवलप लार्ज देन अनदर वैरायटी ऑफ वेजिटेबल दैट इज स्केल जो है दैट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट मीन्स यहाँ से एक ही वाइल्ड वैरायटी से डिफरेंट वैरायटीज ऑफ वेजिटेबल दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड सो वॉट डज दिस टेल्स अस दिस टेल्स अस दैट डिसिमिलर लुकिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स बिकॉज ब्रोकली cauliflower kolarabi kale they are all they doesn't look similar so the dissimilar looking structures they evolve from a common 
ancestral design. Of course, यहाँ हमने artificial selection की है, but in the nature, the natural selection must have taken place and the different organism that must have evolved. Now, this is to tell you that this is a wild cabbage. Wild cabbage की अगर leaves जो हैं, वो enlarge कर दी जाए by artificially, then kale can be produced. अगर flower को sterile कर दे, then cauliflowers. अगर flower का development arrest कर दे, then it is broccoli. और अगर जो leaves हैं, उनका बीच का जो portion है, वो बहुत कम कर दे. That means stems जो है, वो बहुत छोटा कर दे. And a rosette type of a formation takes place with the help of the leaves. एक leaf के ऊपर दूसरा leaf आ जाता है, then the cabbage that can be produced. And a red cabbage, the color of which is different, that can be produced. And if a swollen part of the wild cabbage that is taken, the kohlrabi can be produced. All these vegetables, jo hai, they have been produced from the same wild cabbage, and their nutritional value is also different. Okay, so the different or dissimilar structures they evolve from the common ancestors. Now we say that in the evolutionary relationship, जब evolution हुई, तो there is a change in the DNA. That means the basic event in the evolution is the DNA में change हो गया. Okay, and if we compare the DNA of the different species, this gives us an estimation that how much DNA has been changed during the formation of a particular species, because when a new species is formed from the older species, there is a change in the DNA. Now, DNA may agar change hoga, to cell division may be change hoga. Cell division may DNA gets changed. Agar DNA change hoga, to different type of proteins will be formed. And these different type of proteins, which are responsible for the variation, they keep on accumulating from one generation to another generation. So, after many years, a greater change will be there in an organism and the distinct or two different organisms which are related, okay, they are distinctly related. That means, if two organisms are like this, in DNA there is a lot of change, so we can say that those two organisms are not closely related, but in their relationship is very distinctly related. है. अगर DNA में कम चेंज है, that means अगर two ऑर्गेनिज्म का DNA मिलता है, तो we can say that the organisms are very closely related. ये वाला example we can we can understand this example by taking the example of gorilla and the human. नो कई बार तुमने देखा होगा कि gorilla और chimpanzees, let us take a chimpanzees, chimpanzees और human जो हैं, उनकी काफी जो characters हैं वो मिलते हैं. Even the number of chromosomes in human that is 46, chimpanzee में the number of chromosomes जो हैं वो 48 है. But it doesn't. We cannot say that we have developed from chimpanzees. But वो हम कह सकते हैं कि human का और chimpanzees का जो ancestors है, that must be the same. And some changes have taken must have taken place in that ancestors. On one side it gave rise to human beings. On the other side it gave rise to chimpanzees. And remember, during the evolution, the complex body structures are formed from the simple body structure. That does not mean that the simple structure wale organisms hai, they got disappeared. No, they also remain. Like take an example of bacteria. The bacteria hai, unka body organization is very simple with com in comparison to the other organism. But still, these bacteria, they survive, not in the average temperature, but the bacteria, they can survive in hot spring, deep sea thermal vents where the temperature is more than 100 degrees Celsius. And these bacteria can also survive in at a very low temperature like in the ice in Antarctica. So this tells us that the earlier organisms also survive and the organism which have developed from the simple organism, they also survive because of the natural selection 
एंड द जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट ओके ये एग्जाम्पल जो है इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टी टू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द बीटल हमने बीटल में देखा था कि वेन द सेकेंड स्पीशीज इज फॉर्म द फर्स्ट स्पीशीज जो है वो डिसअपियर हो जाती है बिकॉज ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन एंड द जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट बट यहाँ पे नेचुरल सिलेक्शन ऑल्सो ऑपरेट एंड द जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट ऑल्सो ऑपरेट्स बट द अर्लियर स्पीशीज ऑल्सो सर्वाइव एंड द न्यू स्पीशीज ऑल्सो सर्वाइव सो दिस टेल्स अस ओवरऑल हाउ द एवोल्यूशन हैज टेकन प्लेस विद दिस दिस चैप्टर नंबर नाइन ये कंप्लीट हो गया next time we'll start with a new chapter till that take care of yourself